the key in this fight for Tyson is to be patiently aggressive, not to fling himself into clinches as he has done. The key for Burbick, in my judgment, is to hold him off and smother Tyson and hope for a long fight that wears him out. Then he can be in the hunt. Well, what is, I feel it's imperative for both fighters to keep those hands hot. Both wearing black Burbick with the high black stockings. Left hook, Tyson. What Burbick's trying to do, he's trying to overpower Mike Tyson. And he's abandoned in doing what he normally does best, and that is to use his whole body, to use those broad shoulders. That was a big right hand by Tyson. This crowd is right into this fight, right at the bell. I would not be surprised when these guys go down because they're throwing big shots and both fighters are a little cold, a little stiff here. A little tight. Right hand, Tyson, and a left behind it. Burbick, as he told us he would, trying to go to the uppercut so far ineffectively. Right hand, Tyson. Tyson has to be patient, as Larry stated, because he's fighting a guy that's been in the ring with top caliber fighters. So he knows how to uh, get a breathing, get that second win going. Another big left hook by Tyson. I mentioned this earlier, but Tyson's, Tyson's punches even sound different than most heavyweights. That was the attempt of the uppercut by Mike Tyson. It wasn't a clean shot. Trevor appears to be trying to keep Tyson backing up, making him fight his fight. Another good left hand by Tyson, and a right behind it, and Burbick is rocked. Burbick in trouble here. Burbick just trying to get through the round. He's hurt, no question. was a big, big round for Mike Tyson, not only because he showed he had faster hands and beat Burbick to the punch, but because he did show the patient aggressiveness that we talked about earlier. We have to remember that Trevor Burbick has never been hit by punches as hard as he's being hit in this fight, and you'd never know how a man is gonna respond to that. Tyson is everything that people could have hoped for in that round. Trevor Burbick, we should point out, has been down twice. There's another big shot by Tyson. Burbick in a heap of trouble. Down he goes. The punches are coming in such a succession that uh, Burbick can't deal with them. They're short, powerful, devastating punches. is still hurt.
Trevor Burbick still seems to be not on solid legs at all here, Ray. Well, again, you notice that uh, my man is being patient. Tyson is being very, very patient, which was a big concern from a lot of other uh, boxing people. He's being patient against a, a guy that has a great deal of experience. He's not wasting any punches. Trying to tie Mike Tyson up here, just kind of hang on and get the cobwebs out. Oh, another big right hand, and Burbick is in trouble again. Tyson is perpetual motion, and the reason he's so dangerous, Burry, because he continues to throw those punches. One thing I've noticed in Tyson, he actually turns southpaw because he can knock you out with either hand. He, get, he has good leverage because he keeps his, ba his balance. He missed with that uppercut, but didn't miss by much. That was a right to the body and an uppercut He's to the head, and Burbick is down. This one is going to be over, I believe. It's over. That's all. And we have a new era in boxing. See, you understand the punch of power of Mike Tyson, all you have to do is watch this replay. And Trevor Burbick has a very durable chin. He has never been hit that hard, that often, by any fighter. Just tremendous shots and very quick hand speed. He set up the last knockdown with a shot to the body and came right back behind it. And you could see at this point that Trevor Burbick was not about to get back up. Mike Tyson did what Mike Tyson normally does, and that's fight. <laughs> yeah, and he does. That's with a capital F also. His mark was written in boxing history. Mike Tyson had become the youngest heavyweight ever to be called champion.